Hello and welcome. So this is uh, Differentials 101, and I'm going to try to be concise uh, yet detailed at the same time, so we'll see how this works out. The front differential is going to be heavily responsible for steering. It is going to affect traction, but mainly steering. The center differential is going to affect mainly the front and rear power balance or power transfer. The rear differential is going to greatly affect traction, as well as steering. It will affect steering, but traction is a big component. And that is the purpose behind them. Now, you have to select uh, the types of oils or if you're going to run uh, spools, for example. Center differential, uh, thin oil versus, say, thick oil or a spool. So, the center differential is going to control the power transfer between the front and the rear. And uh, there is a difference, for example, if, if you do not have a differential, power is going to be equal between the front and the rear. Now, there are many applications where this is uh, desired, highly desired, to be honest. On my Revo uh, 3.3 Nitro, it does not have a center differential, and I'm glad it does not because I don't want it to have one. On my Techno 410.3 for carpet, I had to go with really thick uh, oil here in the middle, actually 1 million, that's what I'm running. And that's to ensure that enough power was going to the front, uh, yet still keeping power in the rear. I'm going to explain that a little later. Uh, the MT410, for example, has, I think it's 700 weight here in the center. I cannot remember uh, what it was uh, when I built it. It was the stock oil. But a major problem with it is... Uh, the vehicle, the system that it has can go up to 6S. And even on 4S, it's too much power. So if you have a vehicle with a lot of power and you're running too thin of an oil, you can cook the oil. And the reason why is because this is so thin, as you accelerate, the front will come off the ground. Now here I'm only demonstrating one tire, but it could be both. So the whole front end could come off the ground and then the tires are going to unload. They're just going to spin, scrub uh, the pavement, barely touch it. So they'll come up, unload, then traction will go to the rear. They will fall, get a little traction. So then power gets transferred back and forth. It happens so fast. We don't realize it and it appears to be constant as far as our, we're concerned. But as soon as these go up, this differential is now working and it's so much power and such high speed that you will cook it. You will heat it up to a point where you will cook it. And then that heat can transfer through the shafts, the metal components, and then that heat will transfer to the plastics and you can warp the plastics. For example, your differential case. That's what happened to uh, an MT that I built. Uh, so you can damage some of the components. So you really want to go with thicker oil, especially on something that size, that heavy, with that much power. Uh, One million would have been the better choice, or even locking it, to be honest. It's, I mean, it's just, if it's a surface that's really, really bumpy, then you want some differential action. If it's a smooth surface, you want as little as possible in here. Uh, so that is one of the things that will happen here. So, Something else that will happen, so that's just front and rear if you're just going straight. So if you're going straight, if you go too thin, you'll cook the oil, you'll accelerate slowly, so it'll be slow acceleration with thin, right? Because the front tires are unloading constantly, so the rear tires don't have enough power to push you. Uh, you can cook the fluid. Now, one of the advantages, though, is you will have more steering off power. And the reason why is because now you have a differential here in the middle. And usually, if you have differential in the center, you probably have a front and rear differential as well. So when you go off power and you're just coasting, all of the differentials are working. So all of the wheels can travel at different speeds, which is what you need when you're taking uh, the turns. Um, 
So that's the reason why off power you generally have more steering and it's also more forgiving in low traction. So that's that's one of the advantages too. If you're if you're on low traction, say loose dirt, uh, it's a little more forgiving. Now, if you go with uh, thicker or locked, so say this is locked, uh, you're going to have more steering on power, which is awesome. To be honest, I'd rather have more steering on power. And the reason why you will have more steering on power is as you start turning, now this is what the pictures refer to, say this front tire lifts up. Well, if this tire lifts up, right, you will always have, let's just say it's locked, you will, if it's locked, you will always have the same amount of power to the front and the rear. Therefore, this tire will not be able to move if something back here is not moving. So you will always have traction to two wheels, one in the front, one in the rear. And that's one of the advantages of having this locked or thicker oil. So you will always be moving forward. So in the case of my Techno, the reason why I went with 1 million oil is because originally I had the stock oil, which I can't remember if it were 10 or 15,000. So what happened is as I took a turn, the rear tire would lift and it would unload. So when you have three differentials, you can actually lock three wheels and one of them will spin freely. So much for four wheel drive. Uh, so that's what was happening. So then as I was taking the turn, right, force vector goes this way, the front would slow down completely because this was now unloading, all the power is going here. So if you think about it this way, this tire speeding up is the same thing as this one slowing down. So from the perspective of this wheel here, this one's speeding up. From the perspective of this one over here, this one is slowing down. So it'd be the same thing as braking. So what happens is the weight just transfers, whoop, flips you over, right? Because that vector now becomes a really large vector. You get this really big force because the front end cannot pull you out of the corner. So that's the reason why I went with really thick oil. Since I did that, it decreased traction rolling like you wouldn't believe. Now, uh, I mean, I just, coming into the turn, I slow down, then I just power out. Slow down, power out. Slow down, power out. Uh, so I'm always carrying that speed and then just power out of the corner, power out of the corner, and it keeps me from traction rolling. Now, one of the things that may happen too is... Uh, the two tires on one side may lift off and then both of them may unload. But as soon as that happens, it wants to fall back down. This is what generally happens with my Revo. Uh, and then these two will unload. And you run the risk again of traction rolling because of that difference. So uh, this will work getting thicker oil or locking it as long as three tires are on the ground. As soon as two of them come up, they will unload. But it, I, it's more controllable. It's more controllable from my perspective. Uh, all right, so center differential oil, this is generally what will happen. So the front tires with thinner oil will generally unload on acceleration you will get slower acceleration. You can cook the differential fluid in high power applications, say 4S, 5S, 6S. Uh, you will get more steering off power if you're just coasting into the turn. It is more forgiven, forgiving on low traction surfaces. So if it's somewhat bumpy, right? You, you'll have uh, tires sort of unloading. So it's easier to keep it, track it straight versus if you had high grip, it's whatever tires gripping on a bumpy surface, it may pull the vehicle one way or another. Uh, but again, this is something you have to play with. For me, uh, based on my applications, thicker oil tends to work better than really thin oil. Thin oil doesn't work at all, unless you're running uh, slow. If you're running a slow motor, you're running slow. But for example, on the Techno with the uh, Tekken, uh, what is it, Pro 4 HD 4300 KV, that motor is fast. You need thicker oil. 
So now we get to thicker oil and spool. So the thicker oil, you will generally get more steering on power. So if you accelerate out of the turn, right, you, you're coming into the turn, so you come in coasting, and then you just start powering out. Uh, you'll get way better steering. You'll get far better acceleration because the front tires don't unload. So there's more a more even power distribution between the front and the rear. Uh, it's it's far better for high traction surfaces such as carpet. It it is better. I mean, go with thicker or even a spool, because that those front tires will always pull your vehicle. Uh, and th there's always going to be power to the front and the rear with a spool. Again, depending on your front and rear differentials, uh, you may get uh, just power to two tires, one in the front, one in the rear. Uh, I hope this is useful. Uh, please uh, make sure to comment. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,